Hello, this is Marsha Lee and welcome to my garden diary. So today I am watering my plants inside or those that need uh, watering. And I decided to um, re-trellis my Hoya Astralis that was wrapped around this frame here. And I started doing it and then I decided to make a video of what not to do with your Hoya. So what I did uh, in my ignorance is that I uh, decided to trellis this Hoya vertical instead of horizontal. So, and I thought I was also saving space. So I wrapped it around uh, this um, plant stand here and yeah, at the time I thought it was a pretty smart idea, but <laughs> now it has grown so much. So this is this is how long the frame is, right? And it's wrapped around like so. I started unwrapping it, which is here, or unraveling, or trying to unravel it, and this is where. The, this is the end right here and then that so that's one one length of one side uh, then there's two two three four five six so this is <laughs> this is quite a long plant and the problem is that um this is a south facing window here and it gets a lot of light and it's almost summer now and it's just too bright right here that's one and two uh this hoya also has a lot of mealy well not a lot but some mealy bugs on it and because it's wrapped up like that it's kind of hard to get to the mealy bugs so i've decided that i need to re trellis it um and not not horizontal uh, but vertical and so that's what I'm going to first try on and untangle this because when I when I wrapped it I pushed it under another and if you could see this looks like a rope here so I don't know how long it's going to take me to untangle this but I'll I'll untangle this and then what I'll show you what I'll do with it afterwards. First, I'll untangle it. Then I need to put it in the shower and give it a good wash because as I said, there are mealy bugs on it. And then I'll try and retrellis it, uh, not horizontally, but vertically. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done with it after in a bit. Okay, so that's I it took me a while to get it untangled but that's what it looks like untangled it's quite long it took me a while because I had um, intertwined the vines but the good thing is that I was able to untwine it and I don't think I broke any of the peduncles so I think it has about six that's one um that's two, that's another one is over there, three, um, there's some more, that there's another one here, four, five, that's another peduncle, then there's another one there, six, and there's another one here somewhere. I think there's another one here, seven. So actually seven um, peduncles that I can see. And they're still on. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to put it in the shower because uh, it's quite uh, sticky from mealy bugs. So if you see sticky and shiny residue on your plants then it's highly likely that you have mealybugs so you need to look <laughs> look for mealybugs 
or if it's in on the floor or where you have your plants, um, then that's a sign of mealybugs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and wash it and then I have I have bamboos in my garden outside like this and I cut I've cut about um, three poles from my bamboo bush outside and then I am going to try so I'll show you what I have I'm going to try and trellis um, the Hoya when I'm finished uh, showering it um, on these bamboo trellis that I got from my garden so that was phase one to get it off of the other trellis and then now I'm going to wash it and then I think I'll just show you the end result when I finish trellising it because I think it will take me a while to figure out how to get everything on on the trellis okay so as soon as I've showered the Hoya and I've trellised it then I'll show you the end results okay so the retrellising of the Hoya Astralis is completed. It took uh, longer than I expected. And now it's horizontal and it is quite tall. <laughs> so it is about five and a half feet on this thing here. And it is, yeah, it is quite, quite big. Or tall and I, I I think right now summer or we're just uh, about to end spring and we're going to go into summer and this is just going to grow more hmm so it's it's better this way now that how I have it it's better than before because now I can also I can also um, take it in the shower and wash it uh, so that I don't have problems with um, with mealybugs anymore because I think the mealybugs like having the plant not moving and it was just there and I couldn't move it from where it was and shower it because um, it was stuck to the other um, the other um, plant stand that it was on so I could never really move it and so now I will be able to move it and then just take it in the shower and then wash it off if I feel that there's another problem and I think what I'll do now too is that I'll um, I'll put it in a, a spot or I'll place it where it's not getting so much light so that it doesn't grow so fast because Actually, I would be very happy if it doesn't grow anymore because it has um, it has enough peduncles on it. Um, so I don't really necessarily want it to have more peduncles so like that one. And it has bloomed a couple of times already. So it's okay if, if I don't get any more peduncles or if this plant doesn't grow anymore and that it just flowers from year to year. So I'll just put it in a, um, a more shaded um, place um, where it's not getting so much light and then hopefully it will still do well. But really, I don't know what I'll do if this plant keeps growing the way it has been growing. And I bought it quite small. So it, it I think about 90% of the growth that it has on it uh, is what happened while in my care so it wasn't a you know a big plant when I got it okay so that's that's it for this video um, be careful how you um, trellis your Hoya and just be aware they grow they can grow pretty fast and um, I think for me it's better to trellis them horizontal sorry vertical and not horizontal and trellis them in such a way that um, they can be moved and uh, and be showered especially if there's a pest problem okay that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something and i'll see you in the next one bye